Please, I'm tired of hearing about cheese. Okay, what do I need? I need everything except... We'll do everything except oil and powdered sugar. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Literally one of everything except oil and powdered sugar. Oh, wait. Nope. Don't need another one of those. Remind me to take that off. Quite the buy, quite the haul, but we're going to be looking good now. Alright, we're set on tea forever. Tea's expensive. Tea's like $50 a, a purchase. You don't have to buy it very often. I think I'm going to leave that right there. I don't know if I have room for everything else yet. We'll see. the next milestone you're looking at? Buying a fridge. I'm streaking, Jersey. I think the five, stream streak, appreciate you. Okay. Now that we're all sorted, I also can do this. Uh, three to nine, perfect price. Four forty nine, perfect price. Just gotta check these every now and again, make sure we're vibing. Oh, market price is way down on T. Okay, I'm actually selling at a loss here. I think. No, I'm not, but it still doesn't feel good. Redo the T. Good pasta. Ooh, I'm overselling pasta. I'll go to market price on pasta. Damn, dude, I'm selling this shit at a loss. Coffee, we're raising the price on coffee. They've had it too good for too long with the coffee. They're gonna buy the pasta anyway. <laughs> $249 pasta. I told y'all I'm going market on this shit. $369 on the flour. Got to make up these lost profits somewhere. We're a pasta store now. We only sell pasta. Just deck to the fucking top to bottom in pasta and it's all $2,000. Gonna try to run it that way. All right, and still with $256, and before we get started, let's just check. So, a bitch fridge is 200 I think I want a giga fridge, and a giga fridge is 375 Um, What else is there to buy? We can get more product licenses at 550 Pay our bills, I guess. Oh, for $350, I can expand the supermarket. That's cool. I don't think we're ready for that yet, but we will. We will be. All right, we're not making as much per sale anymore, but we'll get by. Sorry. <clears throat> Too busy focusing on what we don't sell and not paying attention to what we do sell. You should be buying the goddamn pasta. That is correct. All right, lady. Big buy. Big one to start the day. Big one to start. Oh, she's feeding the whole family. Thanksgiving coming up, ma'am. How you doing? First sale of the day, $27, exact change. I hope they induct you into the NFL Hall of Fame, ma'am. Thank you. Q 
huge start. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna buy more pasta. I'm gonna have to. That lady just bought out half the store. There you are, ma'am. Get the fuck out of here. Flowers flying off the shelves. We're looking so good. Yeah, I really need someone to come in here and buy like 10 coffees. That's where my money's made at. That's where my bread is buttered. Somebody comes in here and buys 37 coffees. Perfect change. You're wonderful. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize this guy was taking the whole store. Wonderful customers here today. Wonderful customers. Absolutely just the bee's knees. Quick start to the day. Looking fantastic out here. Would you ever buy food out of a small store like this for groceries, or would you just not trust it? I bought, I bought food out of stores like this, yeah. In fact, in Italy, there were bigger grocery stores, but there were a hundred of these like smaller stores just like this all over Rome, where we were at. So it's, it's the norm uh, in other places. First person making me do change today, ma'am. You're going to have to pay that fee in pennies. Here you go, 24 cents in pennies. Dropping by for the algorithm. Thank you, Envy. Would making a, a grilled cheese you a butter or mayonnaise kind of guy? Butter. Mayonnaise sounds weird by a grilled cheese. Only one bag of pasta, sir. You could at least be getting two bags of pasta. Hey, he bought the tea. Perfect change, you're perfect, even if we don't and have never sold milk and you expected it for no reason. I need customers who are loyal to the brand, okay? I don't need people who are loyal to their groceries because they need to eat to survive or whatever. I need people who are loyal to the brand that we have here in front of them. Alright, I need more, I think it's powdered sugar. 13, 16... Four forty nine, be on your merry way. I know you're there, sir. It'll be just one fucking second. Little flower. Good thing I refilled on the powdered sugar, eh, buddy? Fuck out of my sight. 7.38. Can't find bottled water. It's in the corner. It's just room temperature, and you're very stuck up about it. You could sell warm milk. What up, Knights? Thundermart, we're doing okay. The tea really isn't flying off the shelves like I hoped it would be. Even though we're selling it at a huge discount, the tea at a huge discount. Though coffee makes me more money if you want to buy the coffee, sir. Tea is actually on the bottom. Tea's on the bottom, ma'am. Coffee? Coffee down low? Coffee and tea on the bottom shelf. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I should put them higher because they make a better profit and they're not eye level. Maybe the eye level stuff just sells better, you know? It's all about placement. It's all about what people can see. Oh, really heavy on the oil here. Nothing suspicious about this purchase. 1976, great year. Great year. Oh. Oh, man. I was having a good day, sir. I like to think we were all having a good day until you entered our lives. And then you know what you did? You bought $24.21 worth of groceries and you gave me a $100 bill. You know you could have given me a $25 bill, sir?
Didn't even buy the pasta. Get the fuck out of my sight. See how backed up you've made the store, sir? I have so many customers waiting on your bitch ass. Fifteen dollars. Cannot stand some of these people. Ooh, lady bought the tea. Let's go. All right, ma'am. This is who the fuck does this to somebody? You know I'm a human being too, with feelings and shit, right? Hi, kittens. Hey, people buying the tea. Let's go. All right. What am I out of flour? Oh, I'm out of. I'm out of flour. I'm out of flour, and I can't buy more because it's closed for the day. Hey, you guys want to get the fuck out of my store? Dow Swip, how the fuck are you doing? It's been a minute, good to see you. Oh, we can afford the fridge, though. We ain't got no f flour. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of my store. Made 148. All right. Looks to me like it's time. I've bought the fridge. Bang. Don't even have the box anymore. Everywhere I worked, if people tried to break hundreds, we usually just refused. Will you buy the cheese? I don't think I can afford it. Here's the thing. I would like to restock on my regular stuff that I'm known for. So, like, I need bread. I need oil. What do I need? I need everything except for flour powdered sugar and maybe cereal and then also tea and coffee but I only have so many dollars in the tank right now alright yeah Ooh, I might have been able to afford the restock today let's go Okay, milk. All right, top shelf is for milk. I are all your grocery store staples? Are the draws losing money on milk is normal to get people in the store buying other stuff? I didn't even think about that. New objective, purchase a new section using your computer to expand your store. Yeah, I can do that. Eggs, nice and neat. A little pasta. Smidgen of the oil.
Yeah, I would like to be able to overstock on stuff. That's the dream, right? So if I can expand the store, I think my next my next few steps are expanding the store, buying buying more shelves, and then just trying to be overstocked on shit. I can tell you by watching people play this, real world tactics do not work. Can't wait for people to shut the fuck up about not having goddamn water. All right, with thirty dollars to my name, but a very very full store, I think we're ready to fucking Beyblade let this one rip. You know what I mean? Oh fuck, I didn't Oh my god, I forgot to set prices. Um okay, the milk is 2 29 The eggs are 3 89 The omelet du fromage 335 and the agua, 198. Make a little profit on the water, you know? Gotta avoid that. Oh, I guess it's free joke. Yeah, always. We've got a real functioning store now. Right. Big purchases, good stuff. Heard that at least once a day as a cashier. Isn't it just fucking awful? Hi, Hom. Can you scam them? I could price shit outrageously high, but I don't think you can, like, not give them enough change or anything. It'd be funny, though. Somebody made a really big purchase or made a really small purchase, gave me a hundred, and then I just refused to give them proper change. And to re-up my virginity, let's go! That's fair, ma'am. You know what? I priced it at 4 dollars You give me a 5 I can't be too upset. We running low on anything today. Looks good. Powdered sugar would be the first concern. Don't mind if you do. Do V Club membership perks stack? I need one. Oh, three oils, lady. Three oils and a coffee. What are you getting up to this weekend? Coffee's my money maker. Anytime they load up on coffee, I'm, I'm all happy with it. Though I did only get $12 from that one. How much is it for me to expand the place? Section 2 is $350. Then I can buy more shelves. I've never played any of these Sims games, but I've guessed... I didn't see the appeal to this one for the longest time. It's been bumping on Twitch for a couple weeks now, and I was always like... Why? Like, what is the appeal? But, I don't know. Here we are. Cereal eggs. Have a lovely day, ma'am. My favorite thing is watching how different people play. Thought of the perfect plan, since you can pick up boxes in the game, you go to other grocery stores in the city and vandalize them. That would make this the best game ever made, and I would absolutely do that. Sorry, sir, we're out of nickels, dimes, quarters, and half dollars. Enjoy your 33 cents. Have a wonderful day.
Chat. How do you guys feel about Dead by Daylight? Big purchase today, ma'am. Thank you. Oh my god, somebody bought the fucking water. People aren't bitching about it anymore. How do you feel about Dead by Daylight? Never met them. Okay, fair enough. Emma has been on a real Dead by Daylight kick and she's been trying to get me to uh she's been trying to get me to to get it too. Or to get into it again. Not that I was ever into it in the first place, but Gotta buy coffee, one of our biggest money makers. Make sure coffee stays on these fucking shelves at all costs. Couldn't find the coffee. It's actually behind you on the shelf, fucko! It's fine. Get out of my sight, never come back to the store again. Yeah, two coffees? Quick profit on that one, eh? Perfect change. Thank you, Men in Black. I'm feeling like I'm an imposter trying to get you to play. More so M, but yeah, there it is. It's one of those games, boy, I tell you. Here's the thing. In my experience, if you play Dead by Daylight with, like, one other person, and you're both survivors, it usually kind of sucks because... I feel like, maybe it's gotten better, I don't know. I feel like the Dead by Daylight community is fucking awful. A lot of the killers are fucking tunnel-heavy weirdos who will hold grudges. Like, if you juke their ankles early on, then they're going to tunnel you for the rest of the show, and even if their whole team scores a zillion points and the killer scores no points, they'll make it their mission to where you don't have fun and they just make sure that they kill you. And that's the killers. And then a lot of the players are either intentionally very stupid or will do stuff to get you dead it's a whole fucking thing they run past other survivors to yeah that was my experience but if I play with more than one person if I play with more than one person it's usually not that bad because as long as you have a majority of the survivors and not like half the survivors or whatever then you're a lot less likely to have horrible shit happen to you Couldn't find oil. I didn't want to sell you any. It's always the guy. Yeah, it's always the ones who look like they have money. God damn, we about sold out everything today. We've actually made crazy profit. I think we started today with $30. I ran out of coffee twice today. Ran out of coffee twice today. I think we started with 30 bucks. Shit is flying off the shelves. We are ready to expand. The community has not gotten better. However, M Imposter are fun to play with. It's never super... Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I was just trying to get a vibe for how the community would feel if we started having Dead by Daylight days or whatever. Just put the coffee on every shelf. That's one of the problems. Come in for the dark roast or don't come in at all. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom really quick, chat. I will be right back, okay? Then we'll hop back into it. What kind of juices can you get? Uh, well, I gotta expand my store first, but a lot.
So, Alright, anyways, bathroom, beer, be. Yo, what's up? I was falling asleep to an old crystal playthrough last night and got my butterfly mixed when you said catch you later Morgan apparently I was in chat 7 years ago lol. Hey, yo, Morgan, good to see you again, man. What up? I was falling asleep to an old Crystal playthrough last night. Got my shit mixed when you said catch you later, Morgan. Apparently, I was in chat seven years ago. Morgan, hope you've been well, man. Thank you for the 47 months. We were talking about you the other day. A couple people in chat were talking about fighting. I was like, I fucking know a guy. Good to be back. Hope you've been well, man. Hope you've been well. Okay, income, supply cost. Yeah, we still only lost $60 despite the fact that I bought a $375 thing, so. First, let's pay our bills. Be a responsible adult. It doesn't say what they're for. It just says bill. I get the daily rent, but what is the other bill? Is that my... <coughs> is that my electrical cost, maybe? Um, growth. I think instead of expanding the supermarket today, I think we go one more day and just get our fucking money up. Because now I've paid the bills. The shelves are practically empty. Um, I need everything except cereal. Can I buy another shelf? Can I just buy another shelf? 200 bucks? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. $2 shipping? Good God, outrageous prices. Uh, why is it... Okay. Those fuckers made it so you intentionally couldn't fit it right there.
There we go. Okay. We need everything except cereal. I little I need one of everything except cereal, and then I'll go back to the refrigerated stuff. Milk is not flying off the shelves. Let's get one of everything that is a cereal. Um, okay, powdered sugar. And you know what the goal is going to be? I'm going to start trying to give everything its own section. So I actually should have ordered two powdered sugars. But it's fine. But I'm going to start trying to do like this. Fuck. Doesn't match the box size. <laughs> Nickel for every time I didn't match the box <laughs> Sorry. Um... Everything to have its own space. Maybe we'll make flour a top shelf thingy. Yeah, all right. Now I can do like that. Perfect. Yeah, I would like to be overstocked, right? I still have no nickels. You, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Uh, what up, Big Perp? How the fuck you doing? What is this? Oh, I'm running my own supermarket. Welcome to fucking Thunder Mart. Um, let's do eggs. Let's do cheese. Water's actually okay, and milk's okay. So, let me get down here. Cheese and eggs. And then we'll worry about overstocking, and then we'll go on with our day. And I want to overstock because I don't like having to buy shit midday. And if I can avoid it, I'm going to. So, for example, right now, I can get one oil. Oh, I need tea and coffee. I never bought tea and coffee. So, we need tea. I actually want two things of coffee. And more powdered sugar. Okay. One tea. Two coffee. And powdered sugar. Oh, I'm out of money. No, I'm not. Why can't I buy this? Oh, my balance is 123. I am out of money. Okay. So, no tea. Fuck! Shit, dude. Um, I guess no powdered sugar. Wait, no. That doesn't cover the thing. Only one coffee. Damn. Alright. Well, whatever. Whatever. I'll have enough money after today to do what I'm trying to do. So, it's all good. Ideally, I would be able to buy more oil and more powdered sugar. What up, Doom Slayer? What up, Viper? How you guys doing? Point being, I would like everything to have two spots. And I think they said the cost of sugar went up. Which means I might be able to get away with charging more for it, and I can. Do 545. Huge. Alright, open this fucking store for the day, brothers. Let's go. Let's go. We work for this. So, tomorrow, when I have more money, I would like two full shelves of everything, right? I'm gonna reorganize the cereal so the cereal goes up a shelf, and then the bottom is just coffee. And then I can do a second thing of oil here, and a second thing of bread here, and just, just the works. You know, second flour. Everything will be good. Everything will be good. Looking real smooth now. I should rearrange. Much better. Good day, madame. You couldn't find the cheese? 
You couldn't find the Comte? Did you get more coffee? Yeah, it's on the bottom shelf. I couldn't buy two. I wanted to buy two packs. Couldn't buy two packs, but... Power lifting a fridge with a customer's trying to be serving. Yeah. Any for your thoughts? I know why, Towery, but, like, just turn around. I actually, I finished doing it. You can walk the three steps. Yo, we got a coffee drinker. Wait a minute. Huge profit turn on this one. Huge profit turn on this one. Check this shit out. I'm going to give you a quarter. Because you bought $50 worth of shit almost, sir. Thank you. It's what keeps these small businesses alive and well. Can't wait to turn into a giant conglomerate of a corporation where I lay people off for no reason just so I can make an extra billion that year. There you are, ma'am. I'm gonna buy more coffee. You're a perfect human being. 1789. Ding, yeah, I'm aware. I'm trying to fucking stack my coffee. that there for now. Need them to buy up all the cereal first. Good evening, Taylor Swift. Thank you for buying so many clothes, or so many clothes, so many uh, things. Groceries. Seventeen oh two. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna buy cereal. Cereal is expensive in today's day and age. Good heavens. Perfect. Get that going. Daring today, aren't we, sir? Perfect change because you're a saint of a human being. My, oh my, the store's really burning now. Good. Looking real good. Do I even I don't even need to make the store bigger right this moment. You know? Actually I'm a pretty big fan. I feel like this I feel like at this size we can make the most money for the longest. I can really stack up if I just keep stocking these shelves at night, you know? Ten fifty-eight. Need more oil. And you know what? Maybe we okay, so we expand and then I buy an overstock shelf. Let's be honest, you made the store bigger, customers would just get lost. Do you really want that? I think it grows bigger by 4x4. Four by four. So it doesn't actually go that much bigger. Ooh, tea and coffee loading up on it. Love that. I don't think I actually make that much off tea right now, though. Bit unfortunate. Okay. We're still in solid stock of everything. You know what? I do have overstock shelves. I don't even I don't even need to buy more shelves right now. Yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be perfect tomorrow. I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna do tomorrow. It's gonna be ideal. You guys are gonna see this store in full swing. I won't have to worry about ordering anything at all during the day. Sorry, man. We only have pennies. There you go. Hate to 
to raise my electric bill like this, but the store is doing pretty well, I guess. All right. Groceries for the week. Thank you. Thank you. We're looking pretty fucking good. Actually, almost sold out of milk today, too. Nice. Fuck, we might sell out of milk today. Bro, bro, bought all the milk and then turned on and came back for more milk. Quick, at the buzzer. He bought more milk right as it was closing. Let's fucking go. 1742. Forgot when you bought milk, you bought a metric fuck ton of milk. 778. You're a saint. I hope they let you into the pearly gates of heaven. Where you belong. It's hot at the moment. What are you talking about? Oh shit, chat, we're already only 20 away from the whistleblower shit. For more Outlast, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even notice that. The game, the game is hot at the moment. Look, we got store level 8. We got mad money. Look at that. I spent $200 on an upgrade, $350 on supplies, $40 on rent, $10 on bills, and we still came out with a $17 profit on the day. How are we doing it? Ooh, I'm over market price for bread. You skipped one of the only two songs from song. I just reset it, because that's the last song in the playlist. I just reset it because I fuck with this one. Okay. We don't need powdered sugar. We don't need milk. We don't... Uh, I could do one eggs. So let's do eggs, cheese, water. Let's do that first. Starting the cold shit. Work our way up. God, the delivery is so fast. good on the fromage eggs are looking good what do we need over here um honestly at least one of everything so fuck it here we go Now, that's a huge fucking purchase, but my boxes are going to fall over. It's a huge purchase, but I won't need to buy anything at the store at all today, and I'll probably be able to hold off on buying some shit tomorrow as well. There we go, a little overstock. Coffee, my fucking goat. That delivery guy is playing single player Jenga and he's good at it. I 
could go back and buy one more thing of pasta, too, if I really wanted to be over on the day. And I totally could. Could even do it with oil, if we're being honest. One more pasta, one more oil. That's why we have the overstock shelves. Oh, I don't, I don't even need them. I don't even need the fuck the overstock shelves. So if I want to, one more oil, one more pasta, one more bread. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's be as stocked as we've ever been. Oil, bread, pasta. I can even put the bread above the bread. You know. Like, we got room for shit right now. He's good. Yeah, fuck it. We'll throw the oil up here. Okay, everything we get today is straight profit. Because I'm overstocked, brother. I'm overstocked. We should run out of nothing off the shelves today. Except maybe the fridge, like the cheese, maybe. Today, we are doing nothing but parking our ass at this register and checking everybody out. And then we're also going to exchange their stuff for money and send them on their merry way while they pay for goods. They do love their goddamn cheese. Oh, I didn't readjust some prices. I think there was something I was losing money on, actually. Make sure. Tea, looking good. Oil. Good. Overcharging for bread. Let's do 330 for bread. Is it powdered sugar? Oh yeah. Fuck yeah, brother. We're gonna make money off powdered sugar. Now we're set. Fridge is the only thing you possibly run out. Yeah, other than that, we are fucking cooking. We are cooking. Man, you can change the price on something as they pick it up. Like, swiftly change us something to $999. At the last second. with a card, my good man. You fucker. Actually, purchase complete. It won't, it won't let me hit space bar. Just be like, all right, well, you paid your amount. Go on your merry way. I would start doing that to these customers, so that way they would stop giving me these customers. with a sharpie back when I worked at a place that rhymed with back when I worked retail at a place that rhymed with schmickditas we had this douchey teenage kid had this douchey teenage kid who would always come in and then pull a force like a a sticker off of one of the cheapest shoe pair of shoes that we had that was on sale and then he would go put it on one of the expensive ones and be like yeah the price tag said it was this and I think the manager let him do that exactly one time before we just started telling him to fuck off. Anytime he came in to buy anything. It's like, now that I'm older, I'm like, fuck, dude. I'm not getting the money Adidas makes from these purchases. I get paid an hourly rate. An hourly rate. So I don't really give a shit if people are in here doing. But at that point, like, quit being a pussy and just steal it, I guess. Bro is trying to steal, but legally. It's like, just... Quit being a baby bitch about it. Just steal for real then, you know? Face consequences for your actions. Anyway, working retail sucks ass. That's the, point I would... That's the point I was trying to make.
So I got an itch in my eye. Chat, how many of you guys have experience working retail or any kind of similar job? Over, under, yay, nay. What year were you born? Raise your hand. Customer service, still do. Gotcha, gotcha. I guess I just want to know if anybody has any stories. All of my jobs. I worked. I know a couple of people worked at GameStop. I'm pretty sure they mostly said it was awful. But I don't remember why. I refuse to work retail. If you worked retail before and then decided you hated it and now you refuse to work retail, I get it. I feel like everybody should have to work retail at least once in their life for a little while. So there's a lot of shit you just don't understand until you've done it. <laughs> Been the manager of a restaurant for the last three years. I got manager of a restaurant. That's badass. I was called a racist yesterday for asking a customer if there was anything I could help them find. What the fuck? Did they think you were watching them or something? I worked at Dunham Sports. You personally probably heard it. Come the fuck on, dude. Fucking ex-president of the United States looking ass. We're making profits out here today. Buy me at a cheese. Good God. I asked Twitch chat the questions and all the customers start flying in. Worked at my first retail store for 12 years. God damn. You worked at that retail store longer than I've been making content. Painted houses and hotel rooms until I got out of high school, and then I went right into working a trade job, which I currently still do. I see you. How we doing? Still have cheese. Water was flying today. Good on powdered sugar. Good on cereal. Coffee was flying today. Yeah, we're looking all right. Come the fuck on, lady. 91. Have fun with your $91. At the hospital I worked at, I was told I can't react no matter how rude people are to me. They are in the hospital, so I get it, but I had a guy ask me, are you a virgin because you look like a virgin? Yeah, I think that... I think that's one of the, If I was in that spot, I think it's one of those things you just had to take a deep breath and remind yourself that they are currently way worse off than you are right now. Just said yeah and left. Listen, buddy, we have everything. If you're lost right now, that's on you. Yeah, I could order more cheese, more water. I could order more milk. Yeah, cheese, water, milk for that.
Get the broom. Get the fuck out of the store, Buster. We have it all. $600. Look at this. Look at the profits for today. Look at the profit. Eggs, flour, cheese, oil. Jesus Christ, cheese, pro cheese prices have plummeted. Eggs. Are you kidding me? What the fuck happened to eggs? Oops. Flour and oil. Oh my god, I'm selling everything at a loss! Did I run out of flour? I ran out of flour, fuck. Economy is in shambles. Flower prices are up, that's something. Everything else I'm gonna be taking a bit of a loss on. Okay. I can do I don't need bread. We can do one thing of oil, thing of coffee. Thing of oil. Thing of coffee. Um, I don't need tea. Cheese and water. Cheese, water, and milk. And I think that's it. I don't really need pasta. Yeah. And now I'm already all set for the day, so I can buy anything else I want to buy now. I had to do an SD delivery. That means service desk. I have the order and head on over to the service desk. There's a woman cracked out of her mind, no teeth, is twitching and flicking her tongue. I gave her her order and she says, let's bring it to my car. We go outside, it's below freezing, windy. She goes, where is my car? And starts bawling. And then she steals my carts and runs away. What the fuck? Yeah, they ain't pay you enough to, <laughs> to deal with that any more than you already have. Sick. Go on oil forever. And we're back full on coffee. Will perishable spoil if you just buy? I don't think so. Probably would have game the system. Buy low, sell high. I mean, yeah, if you really wanted to play it, like, try hard mode, but I'm, I don't think I'm trying to do all that. All right, uh, let's pay our bills. I gotta start turning my lights on later. My electric bills are getting too high. Growth, we can buy section two. Store is not high enough to get a cashier yet. Storage is locked, $800. Fuck off. Customization, all right. All right, shit, if I get 750 bucks, I can buy section three of the store. All right, what's this place look like now? Okay. Little space, a little more spacious. I fuck with this. Not feeling so goddamn cramped all the time, you know?
Look at that. Look at that. Storage isn't that helpful off rip, but once you upgrade and hire a stalker or two, it's glorious. I need nobody stalking me, thank you. A fully stocked shelf with his bare hands, yeah, I don't have to load it, don't have to unload it, no, I ain't gotta do none of that crap. Uh, I guess the next thing I'm saving for then would be licenses. $400 so I can start selling peanut butter and shit. About the size of a $6,000 a month studio apartment. I would say it was before I upgraded it. Now that I've upgraded it, you're not getting this for anything anything less than ten grand in New York City. And you're sharing communi communal bathrooms with the rest of the floor. How's business going? Business is booming. We just got a huge upgrade. Huge upgrade. Look at this. Get a load of all of this shit. Yeah. So when we get $400, which we should get today. I'd be shocked if we didn't get it today. Ten to thirteen k easy. Real estate such a scam. Did I hear that the U.S. was doing something about a or a couple states were doing something about making businesses or people that own too much land for rental purposes? Were they were they were being forced to sell them back, or was that something I had a dream about? I thought I read what uh, there were. There was like a, st a couple states out there or something. I think a few states are trying it, but it's gonna be an uphill battle. Yeah. So basically, part of the reason the housing market is so fucking bad, like the economy's awful, obviously. But part of the reason the housing market is so bad is that, um, especially when COVID hit. But even before then, when Airbnb really started taking off, when people sold their houses, you would have these uh, big real estate companies come in and just buy up all the houses for at market price or even above it. So now instead of people living in these places, it's the reason we have so many empty houses but still a huge housing crisis, instead of people living in these, in these places, um, these big motherfucking conglomerate stores just bought it so they can either rent it out or make Airbnbs out of them. Which is why we have virtually nobody owning a home, but every house being accounted for somehow. Sent you a most recent annoying customer story to Discord DMs. You can read it after stream if you want. We were all talking customer service. Got me fired up again. No, I got you. They do that in Gary, Indiana? Gary, Indiana, and wait for someone else to invest in the community? What do you mean? Zillow buys up houses and runs up the... Is it actually Zillow? Like Zillow themselves? I thought they were just a website. But yeah, so it's one of those things, like, let's just say you have a, a pretty healthy town, a pretty healthy community, and there are two dozen houses for sale in a good neighborhood. It's like, those prices are pretty low, and... They would go for what would be considered a reasonable price. But then you have like maybe two corporations will come in and buy 20 or all 24 of the houses and then immediately put them back on the market for, you know, at a 25% markup. And now that looks like that's the norm, even though it shouldn't be, right? It's just shit like that. What up, Carter? Yeah, more or less. Buy houses and do nothing for them. They just wait for value to go up. Yeah. If I were running it, 
basically after like your, I don't know, third property that you own. Um, the taxes on like anything beyond your third property under your name would just start going through the fucking roof, right? Something like that. Maybe there would be a rule for exceptions or something, but something that a company could loophole its way into, but... While apartment shopping, I noticed a discrepancy with the listed price for a unit on the apartments. Hold on. 48. Website versus Zillow. In between the three or so hours of emailing to ask about it, when they emailed back, the Zillow price changed. Oh, you just pointed out the discrepancy to somebody then, and they fixed it, right? Basically. Basically, some old dude was pissed that we had a tip jar next to our register and was bitching out the girl in the register. She's 20 years old and pregnant, so we let her sit on a chair while she does the register. Despite explaining that, we never asked him for a tip. He left a one-star review about us having tips be mandatory. Yeah, it's just people being fucking weird, dude. There are so many people out there who just feel like they gotta be fucking weird. Did you know America has no way for prices to go down without the economy crashing, essentially? Even if inflation goes down, that doesn't mean the prices go down, they just raise lower. Yeah, so the way the American con economy is set up, I don't even think this is necessarily a bad thing. Because if we didn't have a bunch of money-grubbing assholes at the very, very top, the system would work just fine, more or less. Um, but basically, yeah, you don't ever want deflation, right? Inflation in small increments is a good thing. The reason it hasn't been working for America is because prices have been getting inflated, but wages at the bottom line haven't. That's where we're fucked, is that instead of, uh, when a company raises prices on something, instead of also raising how much they pay their employees, they just don't, so everything gets fucked. Get more coffee. Hold up, trying to keep my store in check. God damn. Everything's flying off the shelves out here. Can't believe we ran out of coffee. We were like full when the day started. Couldn't find coffee, it's behind you. Damn, all right, all right. Little buzzer beater with the profits. Fucking 2049, my ass. Oh, 2949. 11, 23. I feel like we didn't make that much profit today. Couldn't. Oh, I ran out of pasta too? Son of a bitch. guy at Planet Fitness try to pick fights with people who didn't social distance. I would, I understand picking fights with people who won't social distance with me. I don't know about seeing two other people who are standing close together be like, hey, stop that. I just don't go near those people, you know? Alright, I was thinking this day wasn't very good for profits, but I'm not gonna lie, that last little burst of customers helped out a bunch. Um, yeah, completely out of cereal, basically. Completely out of pasta. Had to re... I refilled... Oh, wait, no, I refilled two things. Okay. I'm glad I refilled coffee when I did, because they were buying that shit up. I don't know if I have enough for that license or not. I emailed back to ask the proper price, and the guy who emailed me back was like, what do you mean, pretending the prices were the same the whole time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, scammy shit. I got my house under that first home buyer's credit thing Obama had back when I was making 35k a year so I can honestly say thanks Obama. 